Hello everyone and welcome to class of SDN controller. Today in our class we are going to discuss about SDN controller and its components. So SDN controller could be a single monolithic process. It could be a group of the identical process which are arranged to share load and also protect one another from failures. So we can say that it could be a set of distinct functional components which are arranged in a proper manner. So it is viewed as a black box which is defined by is observable behavior. So the controller components these are free to execute on a compute platforms which include compute resources those who are local to a physical network element. And also it could be executed on a distributed and migratory resources such as virtual machines on a data centers. So SDN controller is understood to have a global scope for some value of a globe and its components which are totally understood to share information and state such that no external block need concern itself with the conflicting or contradicting statements or commands from the controller. So there are multiple manager or controller components which may have joint right access to the network resources but to comply with the SDN principles, there are some conditions. Now, what are the conditions? That it must be configured to control the disjoint set of resources or actions. It must be synchronized with each other so that they never issue inconsistent or conflict contradicting commands. So, in distributed computing control of distributed network resources, there is a strict state synchronization which may carry expensive performance or penalties. Now further uh, functional components of a SDN controller DPCF as data plane control function, coordinator, virtualizer and agents are the functional components. So SDN controller is a black box subject to logical centralization requirement and SDN controller it includes additional functions as well. So let's start with the very first uh, con function which is data plane control function. This is the very first component of SDN controller. This component effectively owns the subordinate resources which are available to it and it, it, it uses them as instructed by OSS coordinator or virtualizers that controls them. These resources take the form of an information model instance which is accessed through the agent in subordinate level. So why? Because the scope of an SDN is expected to span multiple or virtual network elements or even virtual networks. It must include a function that operates on an aggregator and this process is commonly called, known as orchestration process. Then moving to the next which is coordinator. The coordinator to set up the both client and a server environments management functionalities required. So coordinator is a functional component of a SDN controller that acts on a behalf of a manager. Clients and server require management throughout all perspective on data, control and op application models. So coordination functional box are totally unique. Now move to the next which is virtualizer. NFA concepts uh, like they are totally different from the SDN concept. In SDN architecture virtualization is allocation of abstract resources to a particular clients or applications whereas in network function virtualization the goal is to abstract the network functions away from a dedicated hardware suppose we have to allow them to be hosted on a server platform in a cloud data centers sdn controller offers services to applications like in a way of model instance and those are derived from the underlying resources management installed policy local or external available support functions virtualizer is instantiated by the oss coordinator for each application or organization next one is the agent the controller entity which is designated as the agent it is a functional component that represents the client resources and capabilities in server environment. The control entity here is agent. 
So an agent in a SDN controller, suppose at a level N, it represents resources and the actions which are available to application or client of a controller like at level N plus 1. So a controller agent model is appropriate for the relationship between the control and a controlling entity. And it applies to the SDN architecture. Other than this, we are having some other controller components. It may take the form of applications or features. Those are supported by the coordinator. So as the components of SDN controller, like some applications, features, which are subject to the same synchronization expectation as other controller components. So for integration with other third-party softwares, with the help of ACPI. Thank you.